Hello everybody and welcome back to another product review. Today we're going to be talking about the Extreme Encounters series presented by Magic Gate. This series is centered around magical and non-magical weather and terrain. You might have an interesting combat encounter, but what does that combat encounter look like? What's happening around it? And all of this can be answered in some of these books. Some of these books you might say? Yes, there is more than one of these here. I just happened to have eight out of the 10 in the series. Here we go. Just a couple of those over here. And I'm not gonna be talking about specifically one of them today. I'm gonna be talking about all of them. And let's get right into it. And some of you who might have a fighter eye might be able to notice, yes, these are bagged and boarded. So that means <laughs> I'm a comic book nerd. If you couldn't tell by these over here, <laughs> I'll have these hung up somewhere eventually. <laughs> but I got a little sidetrack. Let's talk about Extreme Encounters. And first and foremost, these things are really cool. Can be added to any campaign anywhere. There's a, one of these books that is for every single environment that you might be able to come across in D&D. Within these books here, they expound upon the fact that the exhaustion rules in D&D 5e are something to be lacking. And that's why we have a set of exhaustion rules that work right here. These are actually really similar to what one D&D was thinking about doing. So I might use one D&D's rules, but they have these set out for you. But since I've got this bad boy open, I do want to say the artwork is awesome as well. There's a whole bunch of different things in here that are really well done. So I got to hand it off to them for that right here. I do love something that's easy to read, looks great, and is organized well. When I say things like magical weather and magical terrain, I'm not talking about something that you can just dispel away. But fret not, dispel magic doesn't have no effect. It'll just be able to protect you slightly from this greater effect of magic. And if you were going to try to stop this magical weather or terrain effect, then you're going to have to find who's causing it and stop them. There are so many different amazing examples in all of these books that give you some dangerous types of weather like you could have a fog cloud that seeps in and around your party and it just so happens this gives a massive boost to water elementals their movement and a decline on your site and that's just one of the very many things that they could give you an example of and that's just one book out of ten not to mention so many different things like swamp gas, firestorms, earthquakes, blizzards, and so many other different kinds of things that you wouldn't be able to think of unless you had one of these books here. If you were going to think of something magical as in magical terrain or weather, then it's going to be coupled in with a normal sort of severe terrain or weather, and that's where the synergy in these can really add up. It doesn't have to be a dangerous encounter with a couple of goblins if the blizzard is fighting them harder than the goblins are. Since you might have been able to tell, these are smaller books, seeing as they're able to fit in a comic book board and bag, but at the same time, there is a lot of stuff stored away in these. I will have a couple of minor critiques here, like the fact that if you are buying the comic book versions, then you're going to be buying the same five pages in the front and the same five pages in the back every single time you buy any one of these books. And I get the legal is important and so is the preamble, but that just means it should have been a part of one big old book. You know what I mean? <laughs> Now that is not to say that they don't have some collector sets put up over here. Hopefully I'm good at editing. <laughs> so having five in this book and five in this book really does kind of alleviate some of that concern that I just had. Takes out some of the bloat. But I do really wish they could slam them both together because in all reality there's about 20 pages of environmental stuff and 20 times 5, 100 pages isn't necessarily that much for a book. Put them both together. You could do it. There's a little bit of bloat in there. Have that times 10, it becomes a problem. Overall though, I do think this is a great series. They have a lot of good information in here for any environment, literally any environment that you could place your parties in. They have a nice environmental effect you could place upon them. I'm definitely not sad that I stumbled upon this series. I am a little bit sad that I stumbled upon it in this way. I wish I could have found the books first. But at the same time, I don't think that's going to stop me from buying the books and finishing this comic book series as well. <laughs> if I was going to give it a rating, the material in this all honestly gets a good 9 out of 10. 
If I was gonna rate these comic books, I would give them maybe a six out of 10 because all of these should have been included in one big conglomerate book. If I was gonna be rating these books here, absolutely eight, nine out of 10. Looks good, feels good, especially for a hard covers, for a hardcover connoisseur like me. <laughs> and I tell you what though, if you did have a big book put together, maybe with a few more improvements, I would love it. That'd be an 11 out of 10, hands down. But for those of you who have probably realized we're at the end and we've got a box to open. So let's get this bad boy cracked open and see what we've got today. And these things are pretty cool. We got right now here a Basilis. Is that how I say it? Yeah, a Basilis Angel. Those wings are amazing, guys. I absolutely love those wings. After that, we have an Angelkin Redeemer, a wonderful female knight. I'm not really up on the Pathfinder lore, but if you are, tell me what an Angelkin is. A Hellspawn Adept. I'm gonna go ahead and guess that's something like a Tiefling for the Pathfinder lore. I'll pick that up later. And at the end, this one is awesome. It reminds me of just about every Left 4 Dead game I played when I was a kid. A zombie brute. And while I was poorly displaying those in front of the camera, hopefully I got a white box over here. <laughs> Other than that, guys, if you like this video, make sure to like, comment, or subscribe, and I will see you all later.